Well, we're on to the next day, and um, I've been able to, I have been able to leave this box open. Uh, she hasn't tried to leave the actual branches, which has been good. Uh, it does leave a restless night for me, but it was quite hot anyway, so I couldn't sleep. So it wasn't the worst of things. Um, She's still feeding uh, from, this is the honey mixture. I think it might need to be even more dilute than that. That had a just a thin layer of honey at the bottom of it and it's now nearly full. I think it's a 460 milliliter cup. Um, but yeah, it could be diluted more. And you can see on the side there, we've got some excreta which looks to have uh, sugar in it, unlike normal where it's just clear, very clear. Um, so we'll take you into work today because it's gonna be 33 degrees Celsius today. And you still seem to have a bit of kick in you, so it's not quite the end yet. Um, I've had a quick look over the branches this morning. I'm uh, just giving them a little bit of sunlight before I head in. Um, and I couldn't see any... I couldn't, yeah, I could not see any... Uh, slits in the tree, so... It doesn't look like anything was laid overnight. About 4 a.m. though, I did wake up and just had a quick check. And she was just walking. She was like up here. She managed to... So I put her on this one, but she managed to find her way to the other tree. So I'm guessing she went up here and just jumped on a leaf. and fumbled her way back, as you do. Uh, it must be good to be bugged. Uh, I can see you in there. So I'll swap these two water sources around today. I'll clean out the fresh water and the honey water. I'll just move to the other tree because it's only established last night. So hopefully there's some nutrients there that the tree will like. And... Ooh, we'll see how we go. Oh, one other thing. This morning when I did wake up, I found her just sitting on top of that. Right there. Um, she had a firm grip, but it goes to show that it is much safer to cover up the water sources if they're that deep. Um, really I'd be using something bigger. Now that I'm not using the lid on the container, I could use something like a, a cola bottle, uh, something like that, which has a smaller lid to fall into. She has been known to break past the barriers before, which is why I now use cardboard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want to go down there. It's just sticky. That one's just wet. Um, all right, till the afternoon. Time to go to work. While packing up to go for work, I, go to work, I had an idea. Um, I could actually use a very small box like this, which is just a five pack of rapid antigen tests box. Um, that will keep the cicada small and not in this box. I could just leave this at work now since I can leave this open and she doesn't seem to go anywhere, which is good. Um, I can always put a lid on this if I have to, put the leaves in the sink, but 
wrenches in the sink, uh, but I'll take this one to work, leave it at work, and then use this as the transport box or the cicada bus. Um, we did a prototype many, many years ago called the cicada bus. It, um, it was essentially a uh, strawberries, strawberries container, and we just collect cicadas that were along the footpath. Good memories. Of course, the footpath was adjoining to a building, and the cicadas are all coming from a uh, an island, a habitat island. So, not good for them, unfortunately. But these ones seem to be quite well adapted to city living. Well, those ones are red eyes, I think. Closer relation to the uh, Black Prince and the flowery baker. All right, let's get to work. For real. Here we are back at home. Um, hasn't done much feeding today. Uh, did a little bit around 7.30 p.m. while I was still at work. Uh, mainly avoiding the heat again. Don't want too much heat. It's very dry air out here too. Um, got the fan going. Hopefully the air conditioning will drop the temperature a bit. We'll probably lose a bit more humidity but it's quite humid in the house. Um, but, uh, you can only do what you can do. So hopefully this one will drink up tonight. I'm about to go outside and possibly steal another branch. Um, I'll probably just place this one into water. Um, Oh, it has been quite a warm day. Mm. And the tree branch will be happy to be in water, at least for a day or two. Um, generally, I would love to be replacing these plant branches every... Uh, every, what, half day? You can probably get away with a day, maybe two, if you're lucky. Um, I have noticed that she didn't mind feeding off one that was a few days old. It would actually be interesting to get um, cross sections of the, each of the branches on various days to see how being a few days old affects the wood inside um, once it's cut off from the tree itself. But I'm probably not going to go into that sort of detail. Not today anyway. Anyway, here we are on Tuesday, so this is day two, so it's technically day seven or day eight, depending on how you're counting it. Um, honestly, she's done really well to, one, avoid capture by the whatever attacked her, and two, to lay eggs after being attacked. So she's she's got a fighter's spirit. Oh flappy Flappy McBuggo the first. There'll probably be more. Not this season. I haven't actually heard any of them any of the flowery bakers this morning, come to think of it. Or green grocers. Mm. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. This has been Tuesday, the seventh of. What are we in? March, seventh of March. So beginning of autumn.
it's hard to tell whether she's losing strength or if she's just in rest mode, which they do quite often to preserve energy. I'll dim the lights and emulate dusk as best I can, but circadian rhythm, probably a cicada would know about that. I can try and cheat though. There she is feeding. So that's out of a just plain water cup. Now that branch had been in sugar water the day before. So hopefully there's enough juice in it to for her to feed for a while. Leaves on this branch are still good. Uh, starting to get this other branch is a few days old now that had um had eggs laid on it, so I have to pull that one out and check for any additional egg nests. Um, oh, this one, the leaves are still quite happy, but we're getting a bit of droop over here, droop and curl. Keep feeding. She's now stopped feeding after about ten minutes. But I noticed, let's see if she does it. See that twitching? I don't believe that is egg laying behavior. It's not preparation. She was moving her uh, left hand front leg again. That's the side that's missing the forewing end. Uh, I've seen better days, I suppose. Um, let's see if she does it again. Previously, uh, when the abdomen would move like it was then, the back left leg was also... Was the back right leg last time? I'd have to look at the footage. But it sort of indicates that there's an annoyance, something... Interrupting. Now, whether there is something that's really small on the cicada, I couldn't say. Um, I haven't been able to see anything, but it's the same as if you were to um, 
block her path essentially, raising the leg. Come on, Flappy. As soon as I stop the camera, she's going to do it. That's what usually happens. Okay. I guess we're repositioning for a feed. Maybe. Hmm. Is the tuber? Ah, low light conditions. sit there. Maybe so. Two legs. I'm pretty sure you're feeding. Yes. It is very much at a right angle. Yes. You don't have three legs at the front. I know enough about cicada anatomy to know that's not a shrimp. You've got all those feeding legs and those dancing legs. It's got your regular standard six legs. Standard issue. That's good. I guess keep on feeding. She's been feeding on this branch for about two hours now. move it to the fresh branch because it will have soaked up enough water I suspect to get into the xylem. At the same time I don't really want to disturb her because she may not drink from the new one but the new one's bound to have better nutrients than this one. Tough decision being a cicada parent. What do you do? She 
was waving her arms in the air as if she had an itch on her eyes. Could have been me just blocking the light here. blocking the light. And again, I guess having an exoskeleton would make you itchy. Probably. Some of the uh, literature online says that uh, with regard to the eggs, um, there's a higher, higher chance or a higher rate of survival if the eggs are not, or the branch is not, does not die four weeks after laying. Now I suspect that that's to do with uh, the conformational change of the stick or the shape change of the stick as it dries. Um, if you look at how tightly packed in cicada eggs are, you can sort of appreciate that any change in the, uh, the hardening of the, the xylem or many of the other components will cause trouble to the soft, squishy eggs. Um, so we're essentially trying to keep them hydrated enough and then working on a delivery system so that they can maintain moisture and somehow be hung above um, soil with grass and grass roots. Still working on that. I've got a trowel, not a shovel, not a spade, a trowel to go and uh, borrow some of the dirt from up the road. Hopefully they don't mind too much and hopefully I don't accidentally dig up anything I shouldn't, such as a gas main. That would be very embarrassing. Mm. Do a little one. Continuing to feed. Turned around a little bit. Perfect opportunity to lift you up off the tree. Okay, I'm gonna go get that other branch. While you drink what little xylem fluids are probably there um, and we'll be back maybe yeah we'll be back
this is the fresh branch. She didn't seem to like that. Maybe she'll try a different axis point. Maybe it's just a bad bit of branch. It's the old one. I have noticed though if she looks like she's gone to sleep. She probably has. Um, I sort of needed a feed so you can. Fan your cicada. Or just blow lightly. Reactivation occurs. She will actually... Yeah, she's trying to feed there. state of torpor, which is essentially the equivalent of human sleep, or as close as you can get really. So the cicada just deactivates. Unfortunately, I know that these tree branches are finite in material that they have to offer and the amount of time I can keep them. So she sort of has to feed when I say Kind of mean. I wish I had a tree outside, but being in an apartment block, I just don't. I have a garden full of native plants. Did you get a good tap on that one? Nope. Try again, maybe? Really different angle. That's a girl. I don't quite understand what makes a particular part of the tree appetizing or not. But there's got to be a wear leveling of that um, feeding tube. Like, it, I'd imagine it's got a finite number of stabs it can do before it wears out. Is that a good one? We tapped in, we no. Try a slightly different spot. You can do it. Find the vein. That just looks like the same spot. Well, maybe not. I'm running my lighting at 50% in the bedroom here, which I don't know if that has anything to do with it's time to feed or not. Really? Swing and a miss again? Don't give up. Flick. Felicity, flick, flick the cicada, oh. Might have been better than flappy. 
Floppy McBuggo. Stabby McBuggo. Nope. Don't you give up. come out of their face. <laughs> come on, you got this. Twirl around a little bit. You're willing to bet it's the other side of the stick. You're so close. Oh, you can just stab the same spot again. I mean, there has to be xylem in there. in stock out the back, maybe. The only other time you sort of see that behaviour where she's sort of stabbing at the tree repeatedly is before she lays eggs. So I've noticed anyway. So she might be checking the tree for whether it's a good spot to Maybe lay some eggs, but I would actually rather that she feeds and has more energy to lay more eggs. I don't quite know what she's up to. <laughs> Could be anything. The mysterious life of Cicada. Well, I'm just going to stab further up. Ah, 
a delicious tree. the abdomen movements. All the fluid drinking pump material is essentially in the nose, or what would be described as the nose, in between two eyes, beneath your three simple eyes. This branch as I want to say. Are you going to have the energy? You can just make out that the ovipositor is stabbing into that branch. Cicadas can lay anywhere up to, I think it's 16 eggs in one, one slit of the tree. And apparently the, um, the ovipositor is reinforced by metals or metal compounds. If you think getting stabbed by the drinking straw is bad, having a wee position happen on you would be much, much worse. That's it, sweetie. You got this. Honestly, we've, she's been with us now for seven, eight days, seven or eight days, and this would be well over, I reckon we're close to 200 eggs at this point, assuming 16 per, per nest. Cicadas can hold up to anywhere from 200 to 400 eggs. Depends on the species. It's difficult to work out exact numbers, obviously. There's not much need for research into it because, let's be honest, where's the profit? Follow the money. These guys ain't got money. Sure can step into trees though. She was very quick to choose that branch though, so it's a fresh branch today, a couple of hours ago. It's only been soaking in water for little while I do wish she'd fed more on the other on this branch though before doing this I guess I worry about how stressful it is but realistically no one lives forever And we don't even know that she's actually laying eggs. She may just be going through the motions. All the eggs may have already been laid. 
I have no way to verify. I sighed destructively, cut apart one of the twigs, which I'm not going to do. I'd rather wait the 70 days for the eggs to hatch. I'll do my best to keep them alive until I can release them into the wild where they belong. do that. If she's got enough energy and the conditions are right enough, um, I think the most I've seen on one area of branch is three. So three lots of 16, 32, 48, so 48 potential eggs. And she actually doubled back on that branch with another two. It's a very busy branch. I don't count the doubling back though. That's a different day. Seems content for now, at least. Um, we'll check back in a bit later. Looks very tiring. Okay, so it looks like she finished with her nest. She only made the one, but she's gone straight back to feeding. So that's good. Now she might continue to feed for the rest of the night, or she might go back to laying more eggs. We don't really know. I see the egg nest, but it's right under her wing. She's just blocking it a little bit, so I'll have a look at that in the morning. Till then, I think it's a uh, good night. <laughs>